Hi, I'm Trisha from Club Scrap, and today's project started out to be something about my home sweet home, but it ended up being something for my home sweet home. Well, let's take a look at today's project. This is going to hang in my home. And what I love about its purpose is to help us remember a trip that my husband took to Haiti eight years ago. And it was a mission trip where he did some serving out in a very remote area of the country. And this gentleman here led the trip. And there were just some fabulous quotes that I found in Club Scrap Serengeti Kit that I was able to incorporate right into this project that fit the theme so well. And when we see this hanging in our home, we'll be able to remember that time and pray for and think of these people that he met while he was there. And hopefully someday we'll be able to go back. Well, now that you've seen the finished project, let me show you how this all came about. Now I found this album from Clear Scraps and it's shaped just like a house and the pages are nice and thick and sturdy so I was already brainstorming ideas for how I was going to plan some pictures of my home with the book and I was really excited about it. But then one day I came by and it was sitting on my desk sideways and I sort of thought that the peaks of the rooftops actually looked a lot like arrows as well. So I thought maybe I'll just turn it horizontally and hang it and then I can make a wall hanging out of it. So the first thing that I did for my Clear Scraps album was just carefully peeled away the protective liner on all the pages to reveal that crystal clear surface that I will use as the foundation for my book. All right, once I did that, I needed to remove the chimney because in this case, it's for my home sweet home, not about my home sweet home. And I did find that even, even though this is really nice and thick, sturdy material, I can still cut it with a few passes of a craft knife. So if I take a ruler just to protect the rest of the area, and I'm making several passes over and over, and eventually I'll get to a point where I'll be able to remove the ruler and just snap off the chimney. Let's just give it a little turn, and there it goes. And now I have lots of arrows. <laughs> okay, so first I needed to hang my album from something, so I decided to create that next. So for that, I'm using a six by eight and a half inch piece of mat board, and this is a nice, thick, heavy material. And then I simply cut an outer wrap for the mat board, glued it into place, mitered and wrapped the corners, and then even covered the back side with this beautiful light teal paper from Club Scrap's Serengeti collection. And I just thought it went so well with the theme that I'd chosen for the book. This paper has a fabulous cork-like texture. And let me just show you this cover board completely wrapped and ready to go. Now it's kind of plain right now, but we're gonna be having some fun with this. And then the next thing we need to do is plan for where our album is going to hang. So simply taking the smallest piece from the Clear Scraps album, I found a good location where I thought those three rings would mount really well. And I'm going to mark the location of that with a pen just so I know right where they are. Okay, so then we need to punch out those holes. So for that, any punch will do. Okay, now once those holes are punched, you need to punch two additional holes in the upper left and right corners because that will be where our uh, hanging device will be attached. So we'll punch those. And just as a side note, I wanna tell you what happened. I made a little mistake, got a little confused, and I accidentally punched my corner hole in this corner. So I'm just gonna repeat that mistake because I want to show you what I did to fix it. All right, someone did ask me once, what do you do when you make a mistake? I wanna see how you fix them. So now I'm gonna show you because I make them all the time. So let's take a look again at how our album comes together. We've got our pages, we have our arrows, and we have our suspension right here. So these top two corners will be where we put our hanging fibers. I have two colors of ribbon. These ribbons came from the Serengeti fiber collection and cutting them at an angle just makes it real easy to pull through. Now I'm pulling the ends through to the front and that might be a little bit different than what you might have thought but I really like the idea of having the ribbons at the front of the album. And then so I'll just bring the other end through again using the angled tips. I can just thread it real easily bring it on through. Another little tip for you, if you take a tiny bit of bookbinding glue and brush it onto the ends of your ribbons, it will keep them from fraying. All right, the next thing I think we should do is take a look at how we're gonna decorate these clear surfaces. Now what I see when I look at this, instead of a triangle, is 
really half a square. So I decided to use that as somewhat of a decorative theme throughout the book. And then I also decided that this, these areas right here, these larger spots would be perfect for a photograph. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach these foundations for my photographs right in those spots. And this is a theme then that I can carry through to the entire album. Now, please don't panic. I know that I'll be able to see all that adhesive on the back side of my page when I turn it over. And so I'll just reveal, yes, there it is, no problem. When I cut the square for the other side of my page, I cut a second one, stamped it with a square image, inked the edges, and placed it right on top of the same spot. That way I have all that cool effect of Clear Scrap's clear surface material, but then I also have a totally reflected page in between. And I could just continue along that same direction with the next page. Here's my square and my vertical. So this is a nice spot for a vertical photo. I did it on both sides. Again, inking the edges each time really adds a lot. Here's another one with a square of a different color. Both sides completed the same. And finally, at the very end, I just used a sticker on both sides and then added some additional quotes. Well, so now, this is really coming together nicely. So let me show you how this gets constructed. I've got my three holes here my three holes on my cover, and then the rings that also come in the kit with the album, so I'll just attach those. What I like about these rings is they're nice and generously sized. And this way, if I want to add a bunch of ribbons and fibers to this, I can certainly do that, and it's really gonna add a lot to my album. Because of the way I was using this one, I chose not to add the ribbons, but if you do, you got plenty of room to do that. And you also have a lot of room to add additional pages to your single book, whether they're clear or additional cardstock. So then what I hoped was that when I hung my album straight up and down, I knew everything would hang level, and that was the case. But because of my ribbon top, I can really be flexible in the way I hang this on the wall, and it really was gonna work perfectly. So now I had the little business of having to fix this hole that I'd accidentally put into the lower right corner of my project. Well, Clear Scraps has about 50 shapes to choose from in that clear material, so I decided to alter one of their smaller die cut shapes of these flowers. So all I simply do is just take some alcohol ink because that will dry instantly on this material. And I'll dab a little onto this little circle shape, part of the flower and then continue to color the other two as well. And I've chosen a nice soft yellow color as well as a soft green color. There was one other little element that I added that I thought really just gave it a little special touch. And that was just some stamped script. I'm working with an archival quality ink here. If I just stamp my script onto the colored image, then I'm good to go. Okay, next thing I need to do is find a way to attach these elements to my project, and of course you know exactly where they're gonna go, I simply need to pierce a hole into the center of this piece. Now I'm gonna use an anywhere punch to get right into the center of this flower, and you may have to drill a few times because of the thickness of the material, but that's okay. Once you hear it squeak, you know you're there. Okay, then I need to do the same thing to the other larger flower piece, so I have a hole in the center, and it's through. All right, now that I have this all punched through, I can take a coordinating brad, run it through my flower, and of course, you know where this is gonna go. <laughs> I'll just insert the brad into the hole that I accidentally made, and bonus, I have a great spot for my flower. Now this other part can be attached simply to the last page with some adhesive, and that'll be a great little accent piece to my album. Well, how about we take another little peek at the finished book so you can see how it all came together. So all I did here was add my 4x6 featured photo, and I just this place just looks absolutely beautiful, along with a stamped title and the year that my husband took his trip. And then these pictures, I know my husband has very, very specific memories of these two men in this tiny, narrow canoe out fishing in the ocean. And then, of course, he had to give it a try as well. It was pretty comical, if I remember correctly. And then all the completed pages with pictures on both sides. Now keep in mind, as you're doing these back sides of the pages, that your orientation makes sense 
for the structure of the book. This technically would feel like it's upside down, but it's really not. This picture will look right when it's added to the book. Now let me show you one final technique. Just the idea of taking the ribbons that you've attached earlier and attach some wax linen thread, which I love for adding beads. So I added just a bunch of coordinating beads from the Beater's Bistro here, and then added some just fuzzy fibers, and it has a real ethnic tribal feel. I really liked the look of that. I did the same to the other side, and then once you pull that hanging ribbon right up and tight, it just looks like it's part of the unit, and that really gave it a nice finished look. Well, naturally, I wanted to keep on playing. Let me show you one other really simple project. This one is a little more involved. It took me several hours to finish, or maybe an afternoon. But if you only have maybe two hours, here's a more simple approach. This one's done with the square scalloped edge album by Clear Scraps. And you can take a look. I did the similar concept, but simply with a square at the top. Same idea with the ribbons, but I didn't attach beads. That takes more time. And then a title, a picture, it's all the same format. And all the pages in this little book started out the same size. But I thought it would be clever to take advantage of that scalloped edge and just trim that off. And every single page in the book gets a little bit bigger. Insert the little pull tabs for each page. And naturally, I bet you can probably guess where these pictures are from. My trip to the Netherlands. Hi, everybody. Well. I just want to remind you that sometimes when your projects take a turn that you never expected, follow the arrows. I'll see you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.